everyone welcome back to my channel oh my god it has been so long since i've seen you so hopefully you're having a wonderful year and a wonderful month and that you are making it through um as always this video is being brought to you by lw pharmacy school make sure that um you subscribe now and that you call us to enroll so that way you can um complete this and go ahead and get started so um the nha is the one that gives the exept exam and if you did not know there are a hundred questions on that exam um and you know you they give you about two hours and ten minutes to get it done um i did just kind of want to start here because i feel like since there since i haven't covered this information before let's just start from the very beginning so that way you can you know um kind of have a beginning to end type of understanding on how the EXCPT exam work now i'll tell you too that we're gonna just keep tackling this this exam and just kind of preparing ourselves for it i'm not gonna cover everything of course in the video today because i don't want to weigh you out but um we will you know just continue to keep talking about this so the EXCPT exam in order to be el eligible for that um it's almost similar to to ptcb but this one says that you need a high school diploma or a GED, and you have to have completed a pharmacy tech training or education program within the last five years. Okay. Or um, you can have the other one is to have a high school diploma or a GED, and you need to have one year of work experience with at least 1200 hours, which is a little different there of a pharmacy supervised pharmacy work within the last three years. So what that means that's different. So this is going to be for my friends who have just pharmacy experience and maybe they've never actually uh, gone through a program, but they do have pharmacy experience. And so the pharmacy experience that you have must be a one year with at least 1200 hours. So that means in order to get 1200 hours, probably in that one year, you need to be a full time um, technician. Um, and then you have to you would have had to completed this in three years. Like it, it has to have been within the last three years. So um, the last three years will start in 2018. So that means that 2019, 2020, and then 2021, you've accumulated these 1200 hours in one year of work experience in the pharmacy, right? If you took a break in 2000 and 18 and 2019 and you just got back into pharmacy last year 2020 and you've been part-time you may not qualify for this okay because you can have you know 15 20 years of pharmacy experience but it has to have been done within the last three years meaning that within the last three years you need to have at least 1200 hours of supervised pharmacy um work experience Okay, I want that to be real simple for y'all. You know, sometimes y'all have those questions and I just want to kind of help you and make sure that you understand just kind of how it goes. Um, now, this is a summary outline of what uh, is on the EXCPT exam. So I like to say that this is almost like, um, this is more like the PTCB blueprint, right? So, um, there are 25 items on the exam that goes over um, laws and the overview of pharmacy. There are 15 um, items on the, on the exam for drugs and drug therapy. There are 45 items for dispensing process and then 15 items um, for medication safety and quality assurance. I did not make this up. This comes directly from the NHA. I just put it inside of a, a, a PowerPoint. And this is something that you can get on their website. And this is also something, you know, that's completely open to the public. So I don't want you to think this is something that I came up with. I don't make these, these type of uh, stipulations or requirements in any way, form or fashion. I just teach you to follow them. Um, by the way, if you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you'll know whenever I post a new video. And if you're interested in um, becoming a VIP member, all you need to do is log into your YouTube account Go to go to LW Pharmacy School, click join and complete the process. That is it. That is all. Um, so today we are going to talk about overview and laws. Um, I am keeping this screen up just a little longer so you can kind of see what's on it. Um, but just notice that at the bottom, it does say a total of 100. So 
Um, I don't know exactly, you know, how this test is formalized. That's something I do not know, but I do know that this is going to total 100 um, in order for you to actually complete the, uh, the exam. This is what you'll see. And um, there are quite a few questions about dispensing process looks like. So that's something too that we'll be able to touch on pretty soon. Um, now let's talk about levels of pharmacy technician. So there are different levels to being certified or to being a pharmacy tech. So obviously the first level is level one where you're considered a technician and you're not, you know, you don't have a license or a certification, you're not registered, you're just kind of working out there. Um, a lot of people in New York tend to do this because in New York they don't require you to become certified. Um, to work at like CVS or Walgreens or whatever. But if you want to do more of the specialized pharmacy training, you know, if you want to do more of the specialized, I guess, occupation rather than training, then you are going to be need, you know, you are going to need that certification and you are going to need to go ahead and enroll in our program so you can get certified. Now, a licensed pharmacy technician has, um, so this is going to be where this person has contacted the board or they've obtained some sort of license um, from a licensing agency saying that they are licensed, okay? Uh, and then when you register with the pharmacy technician board, that's when you are a registered technician. So that means, and that I'm on number three. So that one is um, going to be when they register with the state board of pharmacy, right? So state board of pharmacy, like for Texas, is Texas State Board of Pharmacy. And, and you can find that as for pharmacy.texas.gov. That's if you're in Texas. Um, now, if you register with the pharmacy technician board, that means that you are, you know, able to practice and within that certain state. Remember, I shared with you that once you become certified, it's a national certification. Now for EXCPT or the NHA, I will tell you when they first came out, a lot of, um, a lot of the actual um, states didn't recognize them, okay? They actually did not recognize them. And so for that reason alone, um, you want to double check with your state to see if they recognize it. Another thing I'll tell you about this exam, and I'm just going to be honest, if your job says, okay, yeah, you have the NHA certification, but we require a PTCB, then they do have, you know, the authority to say, well, we want you to be PTCB certified in order to complete this particular occupation or to work in this particular um, field. So that is something. So that's something I want you to keep in mind. I'm not saying don't do the NHA or EXCPT exam. I'm not saying that. But I, what I am saying to you is think about how far you want to go in your career. And even if you don't want to take the PTCB exam right now, you don't have to. But just think about that. That's something you can be thinking about as you push forward that, okay, at some point this could be, you know, a requirement to do the actual PTCB. So that's just something I want you to think about. And then the fourth and final level, which is where your girl is. Oh, I'm over this way um, or that way. I can't get the word, get, get the picture right. Um, but anywho, it is certified pharmacy technician. So I am certified, licensed, and registered. Okay. With, uh, I am, I have a national recognition and then that's through the PTCB. And then I am um, registered and licensed through my state board of pharmacy. Okay. So that's definitely something you want to do. That's when you're operating at the highest. And then once you have this done and you get to number four, now you can start applying for IV certification. Now you can start applying for, you know, medication uh, uh, reconciliation, the new one that they have, or um, I think it's compounded. I forget exactly which, um, what the names are, but it's where you can just really elevate in your field. And that's something you really want to do. Obviously, you did this career to kind of, you know, start, um, I guess, kind of be somewhere, you know, and, and just kind of like make a name for yourself. So obviously, you want to work your way up. So make sure you do get certified and you get you do get registered. And then when you get certified, all of your um, your options they get bigger. Like, I mean, you know, it's cool to, to be at a place where you can work and you know, okay, child, I can come to work in here and um, it's going to be, you know, X, Y, Z every day, whatever, whatever. My, my supervisor loves me, this, that, and the third. I like that. But also, friend, I want you to think about not being stagnated and not being in one spot and not staying in one spot for too long. Because 
new opportunities are always on the horizon. Like it's always on the horizon. When you're upset and worried and concerned and frustrated and nervous, the information is coming, but it's hitting this. You know what it's hitting? Your frustration. Here's the information. Frustration is here. Information, nervousness here. Information, anxiety, blocking it. You see what I'm saying? Information, upset because you didn't pass before. So what? So what? So what? So what? That doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're not prepared. That, does, that doesn't mean that you can't do this again. That doesn't mean that that's the end of your story. That doesn't mean that's all that you are. No, the devil is a liar. You are successful. You hear me? You are valuable. You are supported. You are appreciated. You are loved. You are needed. And you're going to be certified, friend. So dust yourself off. Mm, 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 and I'm back. Mm, mm, mm. and I'm back okay look do a little one two in the mirror whatever it is that makes you happy I want that happiness to precede you let happiness go before